Foster, and I am the host of here today. today. I have a guest by the name of Big Chan. I encourage each and every one that is watching this show today to listen to Big Chan's story. Chan. To get the fulfill. how are you today? I'm blessed, blessed, blessed to be here, and blessed to know you. Like I stated, you started in the 80s with the rap music. I mean, you've been signed to Ruthless Records, Doggy Style Records, T, right. Rap City. I mean, you name it. You've seen it. You've right. done it, you know, <laughs> as far as the rap. And now when you I have a clothing. outside of my house every day, there was an inspiration. We, Like I said, there were gangs. There were people hanging out on the blocks. There was a lot of different things going on. There were drugs that was real heavy in the 80s. Mm -hmm. So... What was always inspiring to me is because from my street, if I stood outside or stood on the roof of my apartment building, I, I can see the hand and it inspired me. And so my first rap mm -hmm. was on her album. Mm -hmm. um, we did a song together called Pass It On. Mm -hmm. And so from that moment on, I just I just kept being around. I was around the, the, the DJ Pools, the Ice Cubes, the King T's, and I just kept myself around it because I knew when I went home, I had to say, yeah. meditate, as you said, and just try to figure out where am I going next. Mm -hmm. And it was a sewing machine in the attic. Mm -hmm. And so I went to Walmart, got me a few little supplies, and just sat with that sewing machine for three months. What advice would you have for some young females right now that look at the industry as just excitement, all the hype, stories so, uh, that... You gotta have a thick skin. <laughs> the rapping and getting in the studio, making the songs, that's the easy part, mm -hmm. if you're skilled in that manner. Mm -hmm. But you have to do the business part. And then, you you, have know, to do, you gotta be a hustler. Mm -hmm. You gotta get out and make your way, regardless of what somebody put in front of you or the little money that they let you give you as an advance, which is recoupable. Mm -hmm. you have to, if I would have known some of the things that I knew, know now, mm -hmm. I believe I would have been a lot further in my process. But the way God deals with me, everybody can't go where he's trying to take me because now I've learned that it's not about me. You know, one day I was signing, someone wanted me to sign a contract and they wanted on the paper in small print and said all rights and ownership belong right. to them. That's, you know, yeah, that's the catch you up. Too. Exactly. Even I the word up. exclusive, exclusive mm -hmm. can bind you for a lifetime. a lifetime. You know what I'm saying? So you mm -hmm. just have to really be smart about right, that. Right, And I just signed that contract and mm -hmm. I just said, I can't believe you would even yeah, have right. the rap. Right. But now I do have some positive rap that I'm doing right. now to educate, right. to get you know, into the um, respect right. aspect of the rap music with young ladies because can you touch on that just like if I can't do something that's gonna help a young girl make at least think about making the right decision then mm -hmm. what's the use of me doing it I could just blend in with everybody else I could just sell underground mixtapes right but right. that that's not the calling that's why I'm not okay Snoop there's nothing against Snoop, but mm -hmm. Snoop has his own way and it's set for him. Mm -hmm. That's his path, but it's not mine. I was mm -hmm. associated with him, which is a good thing because it broadened my fan base. Mm -hmm. But now that I've done that, okay, I got to do You're my doing. work. Right. You know what right. I mean? And so I'm choosing to change it up. I mean, like I said, I'm not going to preach because you can't shove none down nobody's throat. But if they can look at me and say, okay, to she educate. used to do this, she used to do that, but now she's mm -hmm. changing it up. And it sound fly. Up right. in her you problem. know, you went through after leaving um, Doggy's Angels. You believe that it helps you to get on your God-given purpose where you right. are right now? Because what people don't know is mm -hmm. after being a rapper, mm -hmm. after going across the country, after being on 106 and Park and all that, I was homeless. I slept in my car for two years knew he had me and I knew he was transitioning me mm -hmm. so I didn't worry about it at, as far as that but I knew it was some things that he wanted to get through to me and that was the only way he was going to do it because if I stayed in the flashing lights and I kept the money mm -hmm. and I can get all my friends in VIP mm -hmm. and I can go in the mall and spend 1500 every day then mm -hmm. I'm going to listen as coming from you know the celebrity status that you once had with the different um, rap groups to go into sleeping in your car, did it have a lot to do with poor management, would you say? Yeah, it had to do with poor money management. It mm -hmm. had to do with poor business management. Mm -hmm. And the whole time that we were signed with Snoop, we never had a manager. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And not that that would have made a bigger difference. I just think it was a situation that had to happen, mm -hmm. and it had to happen I the way that it did. And yeah. pray that so many young people that are coming up listen to what you're saying right. about going from celebrity status right. to sleeping in your car, because it can happen. It oh, has yeah. happened to so many 
many people. Oh, yeah. My test is a testimony now. When right. I was going through it, being homeless, going through domestic violence, right. you know, I was like, wow. But now, you know, I'm making the books, a making the, you know, <laughs> the movies and everything right. behind it. And I look at, you know, God yeah, gets I the glory in through my little you know, trying times or what have you, it just, lights was just coming on like, that's not you. You're a young lady and if you're going to be a woman of God, you're going to have to walk like that. You know, I still have my flaws. I'm not perfect and I'm that's not right. trying to be ever. Right. But if I can make a difference, Courage. that's what right. I To know that you went through a situation where you were down, but you God, came back. Up. Seek God and ask Him your purpose, your God-given purpose. Get out of the frustration, the confusion, wondering why am I here in this world. You have a purpose. Don't let anyone tell you that you don't have a purpose. But let God show you your purpose. And I really know, trust, and believe that you will be fulfilled.